what's up guys welcome back to the vlog we have arrived in Walnut California um, we headed straight to the track where the meet will be held tomorrow as soon as we got here um, because we had to get another COVID test um, when we arrived followed by getting my pre-comp warm-up in so we were able to like go into the stadium um, get on the track and it is so 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 nice I have been to Mount Sac once before I think it was 2014 and like it was a nice track then but it wasn't like necessarily anything like super special but now it's like a stadium stadium a stadium you know so it's easy to get kind of like nervous and like doughty once I walked in there because like you walk in and you're walking past like all these people that you like watch on TV and then the stadium is just like insane and um, Taylor was like, you've had enough non-intense track meets like to last you a lifetime, like you need meets like this. And that really like resonated with me. I was like, you know what, you're right. I need stuff like this to like bring out the beast in me um, as like kind of initially intimidating as it is. So anyways, it was, it was a cool experience. I had a good little shakeout, but yeah. When you like are doing your warm up and like Shikari Richardson is like doing blocks beside you, it's it's pretty crazy. It's pretty crazy to see that speed up close, you know? Anywho, um Taylor just went up to the grocery store to get a bedtime snack for tonight. We prepped some pasta that we're gonna have shortly. It's like six PM right now, so just gonna lay low tonight and I'm at noon tomorrow, so we'll probably head to the track like 10 um, and yeah I'm really excited it should be really good I'm just going to try to use the nerves to fuel me to a good performance I always get nervous like even when it's not like a super competitive field the nerves are always going to be there for me because I never want to like feel disappointed in myself I always want to have a strong performance and like the thought of that maybe not happening I guess makes me nervous I don't know but then but the nerves feel different when it's because like it's a really strong field and you're like worried about how you're gonna stack up but I just keep telling myself I deserve to be here and I'm trying not to let like the imposter syndrome of like oh my god should I be here take over because I know that I should be like I'm one of the best triple jumpers in North America so why wouldn't I be here you know right anyways I've been talking for a long time so I guess I will stop and maybe we'll touch base again later this evening, but if not, we will definitely talk to you tomorrow morning, so. Our toxic trait is uh, talking about what we eat, but not actually showing you what we eat. So here's the pasta that we prepped before we came because we're cheap. We're cheap. We don't want to have to pay to eat out, but also this way we know what we're eating and we know it's going to be good. And yeah, you're welcome for finally showing you what we're eating and I'm going to go eat it. Good morning everybody, it is meat day, um, we had a good sleep last night, had a good dinner, you saw it really quickly, and yeah, so we had breakfast and it's about 10 o'clock now, so we're just going to head out the door, um, and hello, and yeah, Kara jumps at 1230 or 1215, and yeah, so we're just going to go, kind of start warming up and get this show on the road, so... Let's go! Okay, we are here now. Um, it seems kind of gloomy out. I can't tell if you can tell on the camera, but it's like really, really calm. So it's actually like really nice conditions other than lack of sun. But it says the sun's supposed to come out, but I'm not sure if it's going to or not today. Um, but uh, yeah, just uh, relax in here. Kara's just went to the washroom so she's just gonna start her warm-up when she gets back she's a little nervous because she's jumping with some good girls but I just told her to like compete like these meets are like not really for like trying to like fix stuff in your technique and stuff it's just like all about competing like we've kind of done the work so at this point now it's just like go out there and be a competitor so hopefully if they put some big numbers out there, she'll kind of go with them and get over that Canadian record. So 
hopefully today's the day that it happens. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna film her like warm up and then I'm gonna head over to the stands when she goes into the call room. And then I think they have 30 to 40 minutes on the runway, so should be good. So let's get today started. As much as I want to just set all that footage on fire and not make a vlog out of this, we already had a vlog leading into it so I feel like I have no choice but the last thing I want to do is like put, put that out there and talk about it but we made the decision to share our journey so I guess that involves the shitty stuff too. So yeah, I'm really really disappointed. Um, unfortunately, my tight hamstring that I was dealing with earlier in the week just kind of like played too big of a, a factor in my mind down the runway, so I just like could not get an approach that was working for me. I just had no rhythm, everything was like super disjointed, and it's hard to jump far when you're getting to the board and already feel like it's game over kind of thing like I just I knew with like the lack of rhythm down the runway that like it just wasn't gonna happen for me anytime I feel like I'm like really close to it happening like I feel like something happens and like I've literally never had hamstring issues before in my life so it's just like why did this have to happen at literally the most important meet and like of all the things to not be working like for my approach to let me down like, that's the one thing that has been, like, really rock solid since we've been here. And, like, that's why I've been jumping far. Because I just found this, like, rhythm that really works for me. So to have lost that, it's just, like, I still can't even believe that that happened. And, like, how I felt on the runway. Like, I just, I can't even... I'm still processing it, to be honest. But... It 
it's annoying feeling like this is the way that like it always goes like I feel like I'm there and I feel like at the next meet it's gonna happen and then it's just like a flash in the pan kind of thing and then you have to like overcome something and like I'm tired of having to overcome I just want to do it I just want it to happen and I'm just trying to remind myself right now that not right now doesn't mean never it's still gonna happen and when it does happen I'm not gonna care that it didn't happen on that day I'm just gonna be happy that it happened period like the time that has passed will not matter once I get there and that's what I'm telling myself but yeah not not in a great place right now um anyways I'm sorry that it was not good news to share with you guys and uh hopefully that means we're just one vlog closer to when we can share good news but yeah I'm gonna spend the rest of the week just trying to get my body back on track and then we fly home in a week so looking forward to hotel quarantine Thank <laughs> you.